Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Uh, you are looking good today. Uh, thank you so much to all the nice feedback about the intro that goes before the videos now. It took us ages to find it. If you're on Patreon, uh, the My Virgin Kitchen Patreon, you would have seen some of the other examples of the ones that didn't make the cut. Anyhow, enough about that. Yesterday I was out with Chloe and Phoebe and Mrs. Barry and Chloe says to me, we saw a lemon meringue pie uh, in where we were eating out and she said, wouldn't it be really cool if there was like a transparent lemon meringue pie and I've now made it my mission today I might regret doing this to try and make a transparent lemon meringue pie you guys know what lemon meringue pie is hopefully you've got that lovely pastry base you've got that sort of custardy lemony vibe in the middle and of course the spiky meringue topping now we're gonna do all of that except the middle rather than the custard thing will hopefully be able to see through it all right Barry, I can see through the pain that you're going to experience with trying to do this. So there's a couple of different ways I think we can do the filling, and I'm going to try the one that I think is going to work the best. Let's get going and see what happens. Now I'm going to start off by making life easy for myself by baking the case because we want that super cold for our transparent setting. Now, of course, you can make short crust pastry yourself. I've done that before. You... Amy, I was doing a video. What's the matter? What's going on? Sorry about that. Yes, of course you can make your own. You can buy ready-made sheets and blocks. We're using a ready-made sheet. Or if you want to be even lazier, you can just buy a ready-made pastry case in its entirety. What I've got here is a ready-made sheet. And if you are using these, please don't take it straight from the fridge section in the shop. Let it sit for at least 40 to 50 minutes or put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. You don't want to rip it. So if you leave it out, it should... Oh yeah, you can tell the difference. It's warm, it's not cold, it will crack. And that's a nightmare. I've done that in the past. I've learned from that. <laughs> there we go. This is a non-stick pie tin. Amazing. Uh, if not, you can just lightly grease it. And also loose bottoms, because I do not understand the point of a pie tin without a loose bottom, because you can't get it out without breaking the pie. Sorry, it's early. I haven't even had coffee yet. Hang on. I'm going to drape it in. Make sure we, like, we lift it up as well and tuck it right in like a carpet. And also give it some overhang, because it can shrink back. One of my favourite tools in the kitchen, scissors. My sheet didn't fully cover uh, the tin, so I'm using a bit of a strip there just to push that on. And you can wet your fingers to join it, right? Let me just give it like a, a little haircut. It reminds me of one of those, um, is it Mr. Potato Head, the Play-Doh one where it all came out and you pressed down? I always wanted one of those as a kid because you'd give it a haircut, never got it. Of course, this video is not about uh, the pie base, uh, but all I'm gonna do is gonna refrigerate it so that the uh, pastry kind of like firms up a bit more. Otherwise, if you bake it, it could shrink. The baking beads will help with that too. So I'll put this in the fridge for like 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you preheat your oven to 180C fan or equivalent. The full uh, method is on my website, by the way. Bake it until it's just starting to go lightly golden brown. Once you're at that stage, take out those baking beads and just bake for another couple of minutes just to cook the bottom bit and that'll be your crust done, so I'll show you that in a bit. Right, so that's the easy bit done. Uh, let me tell you about my thinking for this filling. When it comes to making a jelly, jello uh, filling, uh, I found that platinum grade uh, gelatin sheets work the best for getting uh, an almost clear uh, set. But then I look back and think about the uh, bauble thing that I tried to do over Christmas. That still haunts my dreams. I wanna do it again though. Basically what you'll do is combine the gelatin sheets with a liquid mixture of your choice. So we're gonna try and make it a bit lemony. And there was two ways of thinking about this. The first method will involve mixing water with some sugar and also some lemon extract, which is surprise. Amy, mate, it's just a, a tub of sugar. As I was saying, this first base will involve mixing water, uh, which is needed for all of it, okay? Or I wonder if you could use like Sprite or lemonade sugar to sweeten it up, and this is some lemon extract, which is actually surprisingly easy to get hold of. I ordered some on Amazon, which is arriving today. Uh, I went to my local store and they actually already sell it. So that's possibly the most easiest option for you. Now, the reason I'm not gonna do this is I put a little bit of this in a tub last night and I noticed it was a little bit cloudy, kind of like how lemon juice was, because I was gonna do it with lemon juice as well. Then the other day for the homemade mozzarella video, which you guys loved, thank you very much for that. I wanna do more homemade cheese, homemade halloumi. I might even do the mozzarella again. I don't know, thank you. I bought some citric acid, which I never thought I'd need any use for again. So what I'm gonna do is combine this citric acid with sugar and water to try and get a kind of like lemony sherbet-y tang vibe. So the cool thing is with either method, you could kind of like balance the water and sherbet and extract lemony ratio until you like the taste of it. And that's it. What do you, Amy's being very needy today. What do you want? Huh? 
Maybe she's a fan of lemon meringue. So wash my hands. So kind of like a deck of cards, there are our gelatin sheets, okay? I, I like the actual pattern on it. it. Reminds me of my mum's old windows at her house. Uh, so all you want to do, it doesn't matter about the amount of water in this bowl, it just needs to be cold and there needs to be enough of it. So you just separate your cards or your sheets to deal out your cards like you're in Las Vegas and let them soak and they'll kind of go like, you know, these are like snappy and cardy now. They'll go saggy. They'll loosen up basically. So we can just leave this, make sure they're separated apart. Uh, just leave it for like five minutes so we can start to make the base mixture, which is where your water amount needs to kind of be specific or roughly what you think will fill your pie dish. This is roughly 800 mils of water. So I think that's approximately what will fit in my pie dish. I'm gonna add in hundred grams of sugar. I've got a big old lump in there. <laughs> uh, so in that goes, as you can see, that's gone cloudy, but if I mix it, I'm hoping that, oh yeah, look, see? Um, it has basically gone back to being transparent again. It's not cloudy. Uh, whereas if you put lemon juice and extract in, as I say, it will be slightly cloudy. Trust me, it'll be fine. But I really want to get this transparency thing. Now, citric acid, it's quite tangy direct, but by combining it by the sugar and watering it down, it should be quite nice. Certainly like a zesty vibe, you know? which will complement the jelly really well. I did some research into citric acid and it's actually scary what stuff is in. It's got loads of good health benefits. And you know, when you were younger, you got those like really tangy sweets. You're like, oh mate, check out this like head exploder sweet. It's just basically laced with more of this stuff. So in conclusion, what I'm gonna do to get the opposite of that is just do it in very small batches. This is a quarter teaspoon at a time. Sprinkle it in, get my spoon, see? See how that's not even changed like the transparency of it? And you are actually gonna have to taste this, okay? Oh, wow. An extra quarter of a teaspoon and then mix it. You know, you're kind of gonna get the drill here. Just keep going until you're happy with how it tastes. Ooh, but it might not work. And that's my job. Oh my gosh, I'm super happy with that. Do you know what, I'll have that as a drink. In fact, if I carbonate that, I probably made it lemonade. Where's my soda stream? Do you know what, I never had a soda stream. I wanna do that for a gadget video. So we've got our base made and yours might look slightly different with the lemon extract in there. It might be a little bit cloudy as I say, but that's cool because we haven't ruined anything just yet. Now these sheets, can you see that? They're nice and droopy now and really, really droopy. So what we're gonna do, wow, that played with the colors, didn't it, the camera? Ah, it's like you just woke up. Uh, we'll take a large saucepan, get your sheets okay and make sure you squeeze as much of the water out of it as you can, okay? Kind of like a towel. <laughs> towel? And then just drop them in your pan. So just draining those sheets off in the pan. That's our citric water we need in a minute. And then you can just discard that water, okay? Drink it if you want. Right, okay, so our, oh my gosh. Our, <laughs> our jelly sheets, our dried out sheets and the citric water are now gonna combine. And all we're gonna do is put this pan onto a low flame. Grab your wooden spoon from before and then just keep mixing it over the low heat until it dissolves. The gelatin dissolves. You don't need to boil it as far as I know. All right, the water in that pan is as smooth as a baby's bum. That's still pretty transparent. I'm happy with that. So I poured it into a jug because this will cool down quicker rather than being in the hot pan. And also it'd be easier for me to pour it into my pie dish in a minute. Well, when I say in a minute, I actually mean in about an hour's time because I've got to get my pie out of the oven, let it cool down. And meanwhile, I'll take these guys for a walk, which if you want to see, I'll show you that on this week's vlog. So we'll fast forward to the pie case being ready and our jelly mixture cooled down. Just got back from dog walk number one. Uh, the sun is coming out a little bit, so uh, we're gonna have to just try and work around that. This is probably the most will it, won't it step. If this doesn't work, <laughs> we'll also have to walk the dogs again in a bit if this does work, so exercise. This is my base, it's nice and chilled and I've actually just put the jug of the jelly in the fridge just to try and start to firm up a little bit. To try and give it a bit of support and stop it leaking, maybe, uh, I'm gonna use some foil to line the outer edge of the pie case, kind of like when you buy a mini pie in a shop. In this jar is some lemon curd and I really still want it to give a strong lemon flavor. So hopefully it might also act as a teeny bit of a shield from our gelatin uh, by lining the base with some lemon curd. Oh, I love this stuff. I'm just gonna spread it out thinly. You can try and get it up at a little bit of the crust as well. Oh, I love this stuff. So it's gonna be like lemon flavor, but also hopefully act as a little bit of a sealant. 
I just hope the jelly doesn't merge with it. You know what, I think that's really gonna help it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for maybe five, 10 minutes just to try and get that curd to grip to it. And then we'll stick the jelly on top. Mm. Okay, between you vlog and you transparent lemon meringue pie video, I'm really worried right now. It's gotta work, hasn't it? Why wouldn't it work? Please work. Oh wow. It's sitting on top of the curd. Let's just do a little bit. I don't think it's moving. It's totally holding. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I'm now gonna very carefully try and put this in the fridge. That was the longest walk of my life. <laughs> All right, now we just wait. Uh, Boston and Amy are keeping an eye on it for me. It was freezing out there. Um, me and the dogs got very cold indeed, but speaking of cold, I think it's worked. Um, I'm not gonna show you just yet. We're gonna move on to our meringue topping. You hear that drilling? You might not, hopefully you don't, but you guys wanted me to keep it real. That homely feel, there's some, uh, I think it's the waterboard digging up the, uh, the roads outside with drills. Amazing, they didn't even let me know. Uh, this is how I like to make meringues. This is four room temperature medium egg whites and this is half a teaspoon of cream of tartar it's a it's a raising agent it's not essential but i find it helps to keep the peaks stiff this is the one i prefer using anyway but um i didn't realize we still had this i couldn't find the whisk attachment for it so a nice steady slow whisk at first, uh, and it helps to have a big bowl too. So I'm just gonna slowly increase the speed until we get it nice and big in volume, and then we'll start to add in the sugar. Boom. Add your sugar in in batches, like three spoonfuls at a time. Until it's just dissolved, keep adding the rest. And I'm just gonna finish it up now. See that? That's what we want, baby. You could pipe this if you want, but I'm just gonna make mine rough. Rough. All right, this is a chef's blowtorch to hopefully toast the meringue. Uh, if you're gonna try and bake it, I don't think that's gonna work because the jelly will go all like funny. But then again, baked Alaska works, doesn't it? Maybe try it. But I didn't tell you to do that. I'm trying to be really careful with it because I think it needs a teeny bit of a longer set, but I'm too excited. We have got a transparent pie and it's all held in. Luckily, it, some of these cracks held together, but the lemon curd, I think it's kind of mingled. I'm gonna splodge on my meringue. <laughs> it's like putting meringue on a waterbed or something. I'm just grabbing a bamboo skewer and just doing a few spikes in it. See that? Oh my God, <laughs> that looks amazing. I'm just gonna show you the slice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check that out, we have done it. A transparent lemon meringue pie that is so clear in fact with the lemon curd in there it, it maybe it's giving it a slightly like yellowy tinge a teeny bit but other than that i am over the moon with it oh i'm not gonna lie it's had a cheeky piece look <laughs> look how clear that is oh my god there's the freshness sort of sherbet-y tang of the jelly. You've got that lemon curd just keeping it in line, the meringue on top, and that crust all chilled. It's gorgeous. We did well, my friend. It was a long battle, but I've got loads there and still half a pie in the corner. I'm just relieved, I think. Storage-wise, I don't think it's gonna be great because I think the meringue and the jelly in the fridge won't work together. It might weep. So I think you need to make it on the day almost immediately that you wanna eat it. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There is a playlist full of loads of other baking recipes to check out if you want to see more things uh, like this. Follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen and send me pictures of any recipe attempts you've done. Love you lots. We did it. I am, I'm like, woo, proud. I'm a proud dad.